Thrust vector control allows fighter jets to perform absolutely mind-boggling maneuvers. So why does America only have it on the F-22 Raptor, while Russia, for instance, has it on at least three of its eight active fighter designs? Well, to some extent, that's because Russian fighters are still designed for Cold War-style dogfights, while American fighters have largely moved on from that as a primary focus. Thrust vector control is, in very simple terms, the ability to orient the outflowing thrust of an engine somewhat independently of the aircraft itself. Some jets, like the F-22 Raptor and some versions of Russia's Su-30, have 2D thrust vector control, meaning they can orient the thrust up and down, while others, like Russia's Su-35S and Su-57, have 3D thrust vector control, allowing them to orient that thrust up, down, left, right, or diagonally. Now, Russian fighters use this for super maneuverability, or those mind-boggling maneuvers I mentioned. But in modern warfare, those stunts are really only good for air shows, and especially not good for combat. Doing a cartwheel in your fighter jet undoubtedly looks rad, and might even make one missile miss, but it also scrubs all of your airspeed, leaving your jet a sitting duck for the next missile to come your way. And modern missiles, like the thrust vectoring AIM-9X, are a lot more maneuverable than any fighter ever could be, pulling up to 60 Gs while closing with a target, making those dramatic maneuvers about as silly as they are futile. But that doesn't mean there is no good reason for thrust vector control. The F-22 Raptor, which does use its 2D thrust vector control, or TVC, for some pretty cool air show stunts itself, actually uses those thrust vectoring capabilities for nose authority at extremely high altitudes. The F-22 is known to fly higher than pretty much any Russian fighter, except maybe the Su-57. And at those extreme altitudes, above 60,000 feet, the air is so thin that control surfaces are just not as effective. So the Raptor uses its thrust vectoring nozzles to compensate, allowing it to quickly point its nose and its powerful ANAPG-71 radar down toward enemy fighters to engage them from above. And in new tailless fighters, thrust vector control combined with powerful onboard flight computers may just offer enough control to compensate for the loss of that standing vertical tail that we see in these renders. So we may just see TVC make a big comeback in the years ahead.